Hi, my name is Kelly Waymond. Welcome to the Silhouette Craft Along class. Today the project we're making is a cute little graduation cake topper and it's a really fun, easy paper craft that I think you'll enjoy. So for today's project, I'm going to be using the Cameo 5 and the ES mat, but this project, the paper you're using and the pieces are small enough that you could actually go, uh, you could use a regular cutting mat, you could use a portrait, um, any cutting machine is fine, but I'm going to use the ES mat because I like it so much. Uh, for supplies, we're going to use uh, two colors of cardstock, and you can choose these for the school colors of your graduate. Um, we're going to use a couple of bamboo skewers, and these are, uh, you can just find them in the grocery store. These are 9.75 inches tall, um, but you can probably go taller, it's fine. Um, if you want to put a little cap on your bamboo skewers, you can use some little wooden beads. And the hole just needs to be big enough that you can fit it over the top of your bamboo skewer. But those are completely optional. We will also use some baker's twine, and it's good if that matches or coordinates with the cardstock that you are using. And then we're going to use a couple types of adhesive. You can use a strong craft glue or a hot glue gun, and then just have a regular uh, tape runner adhesive to use. So let's go ahead and go into the software. All right, so here we are in the Silhouette Studio software, and we want to make sure that our machine or mat are set, machine and mat are set correctly. So I've got my machine set to the Cameo 5. My cutting mat, I want to make sure it says the electrostatic mat. And media size, we are going to be using letter size paper, but you of course would set whatever size of paper that you are using. Set that to letter, and then I always have show cut border checked down here to make sure that I know where the borders, uh, where the machine is able to cut. The design we're using will go to the library, and this one is called Graduation 2024 but the number in the design store is 470516, and you can just type that into your search bar and double click to open it. Now, this one is arranged uh, kind of vertically, and it has this piece that says graduate in there. We're not gonna use um, all of these pieces, and we need to shrink it down. And so, we're gonna go ahead and pull away the parts that say graduate, we're not gonna use those. Um, but the rest of it, let's go ahead and line those up across from each other, just so we can uh, get our, uh, the size correct. So nudge that down just a little bit. So I want these to be about three inches tall. So I'm gonna select all of them and drag a corner handle down until it's about three inches tall. And that's gonna go uh, three inches based on this tallest one. So we're not being really precise here. Just make sure that they are all selected at the same time. Um, another way we can do that is turn on the grid by uh, typing G on your keyboard. And if we move these over, we can kind of use that grid mark. I actually am gonna make the numbers themselves about three inches tall. And the hat will be a little bit taller. Okay, so that looks good enough. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the colored pieces off to the side. We're gonna cut the black first. So I'm gonna hold my shift key while I select those colored numbers. So as I hold my shift key, they will all select at the same time and I'll drag them off to the side. And then we can just arrange the black numbers to fit on here. And we're actually gonna use uh, a copy. We're gonna use two layers of black. So one will cover kind of the glue in the string. So I'm gonna select all the black and I'll hold my control 
or command key if you're using a Mac and just hold control or command and press your arrow key down and that'll make a copy. So I'll just reposition those again to kind of save a little paper. All right, so once those are all within the cut border, we are ready to cut our black uh, cardstock. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the send panel and set that up before I place that on the electrostatic mat. So in the send panel, I can see that all my cut lines are turned on and I need to need to select a material. So any cardstock uh, will uh, any cardstock will work for uh, this paper I'm using. And then make sure you do a test cut uh, or a practice cut before you cut your paper to make sure before you send the whole design. I've already tested mine, and so I'm just going to set mine with a blade depth of three, a force of thirty, and a speed of four, maybe five is good. Okay, and then it's already got my auto blade in there, and it's registered, and it's ready for me to load the media. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to load the ES mat. All right, so I have my black cardstock, and I have my uh, ES mat here, and I've got my protector sheet on there. You always want to cut with your protector sheet and it's already connected. So I'll go ahead and put my black paper on there all the way to the edge and make sure my roller is set so it's rolling on the side of the mat and that looks good. So I'll go ahead and just push that in there and I'll just give it a little pressure as I push the load button. And so now that paper is stuck because I've got my ES mat turned on and so I can just click send and that's going to send this to cut. So we'll check and make sure that that cut all the way through. That looks like it did. So we can unload the ES mat with the unload button. Finish pulling it out. And then see how easy that comes off. Just pull off your black paper. And then these pieces are all ready. We've got 2024 cut twice. And then just slide off these extra pieces. And then before we go back into the software, we'll go ahead and get our yellow paper or whatever other color you're using for your graduation colors. We'll go ahead and get that on there. So that electrostatic charge is holding that in place. So we'll go ahead and push that up against the rollers press the load button and now we'll go back into the software. So I'm going to go back to the design page and we are done with all of these uh, black colors. So I'm just going to move them off to the side and grab these colored letters and you notice this is pink but that's not a problem that we're cutting yellow because we're not printing anything, so uh, the colors uh, that you see on screen don't matter if you're just coloring, cutting a colored paper. So that's all we need to do to prepare for the yellow. So we'll go ahead and go to the Send tab. And we can leave those same cut settings because this is the same uh, medium weight cardstock paper that I'm using. And the machine and paper is already loaded, so it says Ready, and we can click Send. Check one more time, make sure that cut through, and it did, so we'll unload that. And again, we can turn off the 
mat and it won't hold it so much. And you can see how easily those pieces just uh, come away from the paper. All right, so we have our pieces cut out and the first thing we're gonna do is attach the lighter color to the darker color. So we'll just use some regular adhesive for that. And you're just trying to keep an even border as you place that on there. All right, and so the next thing we're gonna do is kind of arrange these so they're evenly spaced. And we'll set those aside for the moment. But we're gonna be putting these between the two little skewers. And so this four is actually gonna be able to go a little bit closer because where it hangs, it spreads apart. But to make sure that these stay in the right order, Make sure you flip it, when you flip it upside down to apply the string to the back, flip it down towards you. That way we know that these stay in the same order and they don't end up backwards um, as you're trying to hang them from your banner. Okay, then we'll get some string and we want about, oh, maybe four or five inches extra on either side and we can always cut, cut more later if it's too long. And now we're gonna use just either some hot glue or some good strong craft glue. And we're just gonna make a little line uh, across each of these, maybe about a half inch wide. And then we're gonna place the string. Now. I am going to move that four so it overlaps a little bit. It's going to look funny here, but I think when it hangs, it'll spread out better. But we're just going to press that down into the glue. And we'll give it just a minute to dry and I'm gonna tap that down, kind of press that string into the glue. You wanna use a good glue that dries quickly, but has a strong hold. All right, so that's given, that's got just a couple minutes uh, to dry and you can actually kind of, before it's completely dry, you can kind of hold it up uh, and look at it and make sure those numbers look pretty good and they do to me. If it's still wet, you can slide a little bit, uh, which is a nice thing if, if you're not using hot glue and using a liquid glue, you've got a little bit of time to move that. Okay, so now we've got that string on there that would be totally fine if you didn't mind looking at that, but since we cut these extra pieces, we can um, go ahead and cover that string by just applying the glue all right, so once those are in place, we can flip them back over. And we're just gonna be tying them onto the bamboo skewers. Here's where I add just a little bit, these little beads on the top. And you might wanna glue those and let those dry. And if you didn't want to use wooden bamboo skewers, you could also use little decorative uh, straws. And there's our cute little graduation cake topper. Thanks for joining me today. Make sure that you put any questions you have about the project in the comments section. Also give us um, suggestions or requests for other classes or projects that you would like to see. And make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel so you're notified of any new content that we put out there. Thanks for joining me today.